today off in Central Park, New York. Yes, that's where I'm starting from. I have fixed the microphone fuzzy thing to the side so it will not be getting in the way of today's video. Don't worry. So you can see it's very green. It's a very nice park here in New York City. Getting colder here as I'm not quite able to uh, chase 70 degrees anymore. I need to get a little bit farther south to do that. But I had to dig through some of my old sweaters, so I did find my Nintendo sweater. Um, all of my sweatshirts were actually above the, the overhead area of the RV, and they were covered in Jack's hair. He has been thoroughly enjoying all of my comfy police sweaters in the last few months. Little water spot here with a bunch of uh, remote-controlled uh, boats out there on the water. Okay, uh, this is the trayful arch here. Gonna go underneath. I was thinking about bringing the uh, bike today, but now that I think about it, I'm glad I didn't because of the stairs and the terrain and everything. So you got people just out in little canoes. Nice park, New York. That's cool. That is all my Wedding pictures right there. Well, this is a massive park. They have traffic lights for the bikes and pedestrians in Central Park. Pretty crazy. Pretty nice park, though. I am definitely getting through downtown faster than the cars. Check out that artwork. You know what this is? The Apple Store in New York. Staten Island Ferry Terminal here because I am going to go on the ferry and go out to Staten Island. Why not? Arrived at uh, Staten Island. By the way, if you're interested in doing it, it's uh, it's free to ride the ferry from Manhattan to Staten Island. So why not, right? That was fun. This is the Ballpark St. George. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. New York doesn't know how to play baseball. Zinga. This memorial, if you look, these are all faces. 
they're all they're all individual real faces of people James Gray firefighter New York ladder 20 Okay, and this plaque says it's the Staten Island September 11th First Responders Memorial. Dedicated on 9-11-2014. That's a very special, very unique memorial. So, let me get my bearings set here. Uh, I just came in from a ferry over there. This is Fort Wadsworth. And New Jersey is going to be all along the back side leading up to New York basically over there. Look down here at the fort below me though. And then this bridge is going to be like the driving bridge that gets you from Staten Island uh, back to Brooklyn basically. So that's Brooklyn somewhere over the uh, yeah somewhere near that bridge is where my RV is at right now. And Statue of Liberty is way over there where we just came from. What a nice day. Like, I met this, like, abandoned fort that's taken care of. I can just post down here in front of this gun, up at the bridge, scare the crap out of people. <laughs> uh, whew, what a nice day. Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs. The actual location here in New York. I have had these hot dogs before. I don't know if everybody else likes hot dogs as much as I do, but Nathan's hosts the uh, hot dog eating contest. You can see here it says 252 days, 20 hours, 30 minutes, and 42 seconds to go. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's a Wahlburgers over there, like from the TV show, Mark Wahlberg. Are they open? Doesn't look like it. I don't know. This is uh, Coney Island, by the way, everybody. So, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to get a hot dog real quick. It's hot dog. Okay. I'm here at the famous Coney Island area. Iconic Coney Island. It might be cool to see this place at night, but I am attempting to get back to the RV for sunset. I've still not done a New York skyline time lapse out by the RV. Well, hello Atlantic Ocean. How are you doing this fine afternoon? It feels a little deserted, a little like run down, a little just. <laughs> this is called the Cyclone, and this is one of the oldest original wooden roller coasters in the country. One of them. I don't know what the oldest one is, but this one opened up in 1927 and um, yeah, made it through the 60s. It's it's been around for a long time. A lot a lot of history with the Cyclone here. I don't, I don't do too many like amusement ride type things like this, but if there's history behind it and, or it's like really well known or something like that, I, uh, I might do it. Or I might do something down in Florida this winter. We'll see. Hey everybody, I just wanted to share some information with the rest of my RV buddies. I did share my boondocking spot um, on Sullivan Street. Uh, but it, if you still are in an RV and you don't want to do like urban boondocking type stuff that I like to do sometimes, this is an option as well. This is the only RV approved park in New York City. This is Floyd Bennett Field. And I will get some information about prices and stuff, but like here's Area 51, <laughs> Amelia Earnhardt, RV camper only reservation required. And you have a view of the water up here. Um, as you can see here in late October, there's not a whole lot of people here. Uh, I guess. You're going to have helicopter and plane noise because it's an airport. It's physically an airport. Um, but look, we got one RVer here. The whole place is empty. So, so I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't mind like noises. Like plane. I'm used to trains, planes, buses, and everything. It doesn't bother me. But it might bother somebody else. I mean, 
I guess one of the perks is I would be next to water. Uh, I, I don't have that at, at my current boondocking spot. So uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Let me, so again, I'm just doing my civic duty and helping out my viewers that might have questions or concerns. Uh, this is an alternate uh, to uh, actually camping in New York City here at Floyd Bennett Field. It's $30 a night. This place is open year round. So $30 a night, you're dry camping. So those spots that I showed you over there where that RV's at, no water hookups, no power hookups, no sewage dumping. You gotta take care of all that either before or after you get to New York City here. But it's a great place. You can park here, hop on transit. It's 13 miles to Times Square. The transit will meet you right out the road though. So, I mean, just so you guys know, look up Floyd Bennett Field if you want an alternative to uh, street boondocking, which I don't mind doing. Hey guys, I'm in Flushing, New York, and I want to share with you something awesome. The globe from Men in Black, right? This is where the, the UFO crashed into it here. Flushing Meadows, New York here. Uh, there is a plaque. Let me go over and just read this plaque over here real quick. They are calling it the Unisphere, dedicated to man's aspirations towards peace through mutual understanding and symbolizing his achievements in an expanding universe. Iconic. That is awesome. And if we pan around here to the left, you can see these other artifacts, which we'll get a little closer to, which were also in the movie. I guess so much for being back before the sun sets, but uh, you know, had to make a couple, couple pit stops here. It's really cool. Pretty awesome. I've gotten my fair share out of New York for sure. Hey guys, I'm back to the RV here. <clears throat> it has been a crazy, busy, awesome exploration time here the last several days I've been in the New York area here. I love my boondocking spot. I would still recommend this spot, That's, but I still wanted to give the advice for the uh, Bennett Field, Lloyd Bennett Field as well. Um, but since I've been here two nights, I want to leave tonight. So I'm going to leave the state of New York tonight. I'm only driving about 30 miles, but still. Um, since traffic's light at night, I'm gonna pack up the RV. I'm gonna say goodbye to New York. Of course, I will miss it. I will probably, most likely, be back though. Just so you guys know. But I'm gonna get into New Jersey, sleep there tonight, and uh, wake up in the morning and give you guys an update. Okay. in New York. So long, New York. Thank you. See you next time. A new state, New Jersey. All right. Does that say 179 a gallon? Oh my gosh, I just paid 249 in New York. I should have used my app. That hurts. Woo. Hey everyone, I just wanted to check in real quick. Got into New Jersey safely last night. Slept here at this Walmart. It is 8.40 in the morning. It's cloudy and overcast, not getting a whole lot of solar, but um, I need to regroup. So anyway, New Jersey seems awesome. Looking forward to uh, exploring more. Give me a couple days to get back with you guys and let New York kind of sink in, settle in, and <laughs> everything. So anyway, have a good day, guys. Hey, guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.